Welcome to the first year English students. The course Introduction to Computers. The lecture starts from page 180 up to page 193. This course is presented by Dr. Karam Fay. Chapter 5 Continued Mathematical Functions in Excel. The coming function is called F function. The F function is one of the logical functions. It is used to return one value if a condition is true and another value if condition is false. The syntax of the if function has two types. The first one is called simple if functions, which is given as false. Equal sign, the function name if, followed by round brackets with three arguments. The first one is called condition. Is the condition to be tested? If the condition is true, the next statement is executed. If the condition is false, the last statement is executed. The second type of the if statement is called nested if function. Excel allows true and false to contain if statements. These are called nested if. Microsoft Excel allows up to 64 nested if functions. The general for of the nested if function is given as equal sign then the function name if with the first condition which is called condition one if the condition one is true true one is executed if it is not it means the condition one is false, so another if is added with second condition, which is if with condition two. If condition two is true, true two is added. If the condition two is not true, another if is added in the false position with condition three, and so on. This can be done until to reach to 64 nested if. Remember, when nesting if functions, be sure to put the hardest test first. The AND function. The AND function is used to test of all group of conditions are met. Excel returns a value of true, otherwise it returns a value of false. The syntax of the AND function is given as equal sign, the AND name of the function, followed by different tests, test 1, test 2, test 3, and so on, up to 255 conditions. Application. The following table indicates the score of 10 students in mathematics and accounting course. As seen in the following table, given the student ID, start from student STUD. 52, 53, and so on until to 
students 61 and the courses mathematics and accounting given the mark of the students and in, in subject mathematics and the mark in case of accounting the grades or labels are awarded based on a numeric scale as for the label or the grades of each mark in case of mathematics and accounting the grade are awarded according to the following if the mark of the students is greater than 89 the grade will be excellent if it is greater greater than 79 the grade will be very good if the mark greater than 69 the grade will be good if the mark greater than 49 the grade will be pass otherwise the student fail then find the following using Excel the grades or labels of each course according to the awarded table second the total score for the excellent students in both courses the total score of the excellent student in both courses so we have to look at the table to find the students with excellent grade in both courses you will see from the table just only one student which with student ID CTUD 55 which gets 92 and 40 94 in both courses mathematics and accounting just only one this is by visual inspections we would like to obtain the sum of the two marks using the Excel programming the third one the total score for the excellent students in any course so the total score for excellent students in any course so we have to look for the excellent in any courses you would see one excellent student in any course mathematics one stood 55 and the mark there is still one stood 55 there is another student which is stood 56 which gets in any course in the mark accounting 91 so two students at least have excellent in any shop to do this using the computer program we have to write down the above table into excel sheet as given in figure 15 start from cell A1 up to E13 as you see in figure 15 student ID then the courses mathematics and accounting the mark and its grade and the accounting course the mark and its grade then another 
column for the total score of both excellent students and another table or column for the excellent students in any course. In addition, in the column H, we have to write down the awarded scale. under the labels H4 contains the excellent students H5 the very good students and label 4 the good students in H6 H7 contain the past students and H8 contain the, contain the fail students then, to display grades or labels of mathematics course, we have to write down the following formula in cell C4. The function started with equal sign, then followed by the function name F, then open the round brackets then the first condition remember we would like to check whether 55 mark in B in the column B4 to check whether 55 corresponds to excellent very good good pass or fail so first of all to check 55 55 written and cell P4 so we have to check our condition here we have to check the cell P4 the hardest condition is the excellent student so we have to start first by the excellent student to check whether P4 is greater than 89 if the condition is true, then the student will obtain the excellent. Great. Which written in cell H4. If you go back to figure 15, you will see the excellent written in H4. In this case, remember that the column B, the column header P is preceded by the dollar sign to prevent or to make the column B constant when you click and drag to the left or to the right. But the row number 4 is not preceded by dollar sign since we have to click and drag after entering the whole functions we have to click and drag the autofill to repeat this process for cell b5 b6 b7 until to reach to b13 so the row in B4 is not preceded by the dollar sign. But for H4, it's still constant. If B4 is greater than 89, then the students will obtain the excellent grade. So by clicking and dragging, for the next cell so the excellent should be still the same so the H4 is preceded by dollar sign for the column header H and dollar sign for the row header H to maintain H4 
after clicking and dragging the cell. But in our case, B4 is not greater than 89. So, B4 or greater than 89 is false. So, the false is replaced by another F. To check for the next grade, if B4 is greater than 79, then if the condition is true, then the students will get a score very good, which written in H5. If it is not we have to check again by another F statement. So, in this case, B4 is not greater than 79. So, the false statement will contain another F to check whether B4 is greater than 69. If it is okay or true, then the students will get the grade written in H6. If the condition is not true or false, another F is added in the false statement. So, to check whether B4 is greater than 49. If it is greater than 49, the condition is true then the mark or the grade will contain the value or the grade in H7. If it is not, so the false statement, which is the last case, H8. So remember, each F statement is enclosed between round brackets. So the first F contains the first round bracket. The second F, second round bracket. The third F, third round bracket. The fourth F, the fourth round brackets. Then all the open round brackets will be enclosed by another round brackets. So we need another four round brackets to enclose the if statement. Then, click and drag the autofill until to reach to C13. Write down in C, this formula in C4, then click the autofill, click and drag the autofill until to reach to the cell C13 instead of writing these functions individually. To display the grades or labels of accounting course, we have to write the following formula in the cell E4. Similarly, we would like to find the grade of the mark accounting. Remember, the first mark of the accounting course is written in cell D4. So we have to write the function in cell E4. So started with equal sign, then F, function name F, round the brackets, it check whether D4 is greater than 89 or not. Let's go to the, of the accounting E4. Similarly, as we did in cell B4, so we have to write equal the function F around the brackets. It check whether the first value written in D4 is greater than 89. If it is okay, then the student will get the mark or get the grade 
written in H4, which is the excellent one. If it is not, so another F is added to check whether D4 is greater than 79. If it's okay, it will execute the cell, the value in cell H5. If it is not, it will go to another F to check whether D4 greater than 69. If it's okay, it will execute H6. If it is not, another F is added to check whether D4 is greater than 49. If it's okay or true, H7 is executed. If it is not, then the final will be written in the cell H8. Then enclosed all the round brackets to end the statements. After finishing this function, we have to click and drag the autofill until to reach it to E13. To compute the total score for the excellent student in both courses, we have to write the following formula in the cell F4. For the excellent student, so the total score for the excellent students, we have to check that the value in B4 and D4 should be greater than 89. If the two marks are greater than 89, it means the condition is true, then add the two marks. If it is not, nothing to do. Leave it blank. So we have to program and sell the following in cell F4. So, equal sign the function F, then open around the brackets, then the condition. We have to use the function and the function and to check whether the cell P4 is greater than 89 and the cell D4 is greater than 89 to obtain both excellent marks. If the condition is true, then add the value of cell P4 plus the value in cell D4. So, P4 plus D4. If the condition is not true or false, so leave the false a blank value or space surrounded by double quotations. Or leave it blank. After writing this in cell F4, we have to click and drag the autofill until to reach to the cell F13. To compute the total score for the excellent students in any course, we have to write the following in the cell G4. In any course, it means the excellent could be in mathematics or accounting or both. So we have functions or. So equal sign for
followed by the function name f, then the conditions will use the logic function or or to check whether whether b4 is greater than 89 or d4 is greater than 89 if one of the two cells b4 and d4 is satisfied the or function will add the two cells if one or the two cells satisfy the conditions the two cells are added then b4 plus d4 is added if none of these cells satisfy the conditions then nothing is done a blank space is obtained between double quotations after finishing this statement we have to click the autofill until to reach it to the cell G13 all the above statements are displayed in figures 16 up to figure 19 Figure 16 displays the executions of the above functions. You will see the students in mathematics, the mark 55, it's a great pass, the mark 85, it's a great, very good. the mark 73 it's a great good and so on similarly for the accounting course the mark and the computer prints the mark for each mark or print the grade for each mark then in case of total or both the excellent students you will find the two marks are pass so leave it blank blank or space but in case of both are excellent the two marks are added together to get 186 so there is no excellent for both courses except just one the only students is it UD 55 on the other hand for the excellent in any courses remember that if you look for the excellent you will see at least two students excellent in accounting so the two excellent students at least one excellent you will get two students so the summation of the two marks will be obtained by using the OR functions the above functions written in cell C4 and E4 in addition to F4 and G4 will be displayed individually in the following figures first the function written in cell C4 you will see the function in C4 in mathematics course equal sign the function F the cell B4 is checked with the awarded 
table then clicking and drag remember that by clicking and the drag b4 is incremented into cell b5 and still h4 the same h5 the same since the grade is not changed after that b6 b7 check b8 until to reach it to b13 similarly for the course accounting we have to check the cell b4 by clicking and dragging it will be changed into d5 d6 d7 until to reach to d13 for the figure coming figure figure 19a to check for both the excellent students the excellent son start with the cell F equal sign F and N to check whether B4 is greater than 89 in addition to D4 is greater than 89 if the condition is true then the two cells are added if it's not leave it empty by clicking and dragging the cell F4 it will change B4 is it changing into B5 to check whether B5 similarly D4 into D5 until to reach to D13 and B13 for any courses will be seen in figure 19b as we see equal sign f or function to check whether b4 is greater than 89 or d4 is greater than 89 if one is true or the two are true the two values are added b4 plus d4 if none of these is true nothing obtained a blank space is obtained by clicking and dragging g4 you will get b5 and d5 then b6 d6 and so on until to reach to G13 you will get B13 and D13 thank you very much see you next Sunday